Hey guys, Perigi here and in this video we're going to talk about uh, principles that are going to bring your mobile design skills to the next level. Now we're going to use uh, this uh, UI kit which is Unipay which you can find in uh, UI8. I'm going to leave the link in the description and uh, we're going to go through all of the basic principles which are needed in order to create a stunning but also very importantly functional mobile designs. So the very first principle is uh, that as we can see we don't uh, want to have a lot of clutter in the screens uh, and uh, granted this is a UI kit so the way that the de this design is created is uh, for a very specific reason it might be different from an actual design project uh, for a client but as you can see you want to keep uh, everything minimal and straight to the point so for example if we zoom in on these uh, uh, the set of screens uh, you can see how everything is uh, very clean and straight to the point uh, so we have uh, a first headline at the top uh, then we have all of the emphasis uh, on the cards uh, and there's a lot of uh, white screen uh, or actually blank screen around uh, and this actually helps to drive the eye and uh, basically create emphasis on this section and right below there's going to be all of the information uh, about uh, the you know uh, possible purchase or continuation of this uh, uh, onboarding or purchase flow so essentially you want to keep things minimal and uh, as uh, with less clutter as possible essentially so this is something that you want to keep in mind and the second principle is actually you want to create a hierarchy of needs so basically each and every one of the screens that you might have in an app are going to have different goals and you want to identify what those goals are even before you start opening your design project and uh, this is really really essential so usually one of the things which uh, I do with my clients and uh, this uh, helped me work both uh, on projects for small startups all the way to fortune 500 companies it's uh, essentially to identify from a high level what do we need so from a high level in this case uh, we would uh, actually see just the elements such as you know the splash screen we need an onboarding screen and then we possibly need a login and registration flow and then we need all of these different sections for the app so usually i like to brainstorm with the client and discuss this even before starting creating a single wireframe and once we understand the high level picture of where we're going towards to I'm not going to go right into the design but we're usually going to create uh, wireframes or wire flows which are essentially black and white versions which are very you know they're not the details we're not going to add uh, colors we're not going to be picky with the typography or the sizing or the layout but those are essentially going to help you understand uh, from a high level if this app uh, is working and we're touching all of the main points uh, and the goals that we established at first and then ultimately once you figure out the wireframes then you can go ahead and uh, really focus on the minute details such as the colors, the typography, the perfect uh, you know, designs uh, and the drop shadows and all that uh, fancy things. But uh, I always want to understand from a high level where do you want to go with a design and a project and then basically move from there. Now another important element, especially when it comes to mobile design, is that you want to think about creating call to actions which are easy to reach with uh, the thumb, for example, and that uh, your it's essentially um, the top targets are going to be finger friendly. So creating buttons which are big enough and creating touch points which are big enough are going to be really important in mobile design since uh, that's going to be a big part of the interactions with uh, this specific uh, uh, size and uh, also you want to consider the fact that uh, if you're not only creating a design for mobile but uh, this design has is going to uh, be translated also for a website experience and uh, for tablets you have to think about those things uh, ahead so every time that you're creating a screen, you might want to actually 
double check in your head if uh, that uh, uh, structure might be you know easy to translate also on bigger devices and sometimes you're just going to have to focus on uh, the mobile design and that's totally fine but other times you're going to essentially need to translate this project uh, from mobile to other devices so you definitely want to keep that uh, ahead in mind and also other things like the typography size and uh, the layout one of the biggest tips which i have when it comes to all those things that we i recently mentioned about the touch points being big enough and you know the typography being uh, uh, of the correct size uh, the, the biggest word of advice uh, that they can give you is to actually then export uh, the single jpegs uh, or the single screens uh, with uh, a prototyping app uh, and try and test it in your mobile device because there really isn't nothing uh, like uh, testing it and seeing it uh, live in a mobile device uh, since you're really going to understand immediately if the size uh, if the call to actions are you know big enough or or the small and uh, you know things of that nature so definitely keep it in mind uh, try to create uh, a live prototype since that is uh, definitely going to help now this is pretty much it for this video and i want to remind you that i recently launched uh, a free course on how to get started in ui ux design and I'm basically sharing my experience uh, since I've been a UI UX designer for over nine years now. And uh, on my YouTube channel, I have over 400 videos on these topics. So feel free to check it out if you're interested in that and I'll see you in the next video.